Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Nope. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, having trouble beating man coverage, or just want a more explosive offense. If you want to see the glitchiest routes in Madden 23, what? stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip the Mad Cheese, as always. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday and getting to spend a lot of time with your friends and family. This year, I started doing videos about glitch routes found in Madden 23 that most people don't know about and became so popular that I've been doing a new one every month. But for a while now, I've been wanting to put them all in one long video so it's easier for people to find who aren't caught up on the series or just want to find them all in one place. And since it's the holidays, this is the perfect time. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys every glitch route I've put out this year. But don't worry, as there's plenty more Woo! to come like this in 2023 so hit the like button as always if you guys want to see me to continue this series all these routes Woo! and more can be found in my ebook so if you just picked up the game or you got it for christmas and want to get an instant advantage you can always download them instantly by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment other than that i hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday season and let's get right into the video now the first play is out of the saints single back wing tight and the play itself is the PAFL stretch. Now this play is a man zero beater, so we're gonna use the Overstorm Brave throughout this entire video. So I'm just gonna block one of my tight ends on the right. You don't wanna block the Y route. I'll show you why. The Y route pulls whatever man cover cornerback is in the area. It's also a good check down, but if, that, if he's not running that route, and I'll show you this time, you'll notice that the man coverage guy in that area will essentially drop back and be a safety, which I don't want because I'm going to be attacking the receiver anyway. So you have to block somebody on the other side, the tight on the other side. doesn't really matter which one. The A route would probably make the most sense. All I'm going to do to get this X route open against Man Zero is put this route here on a smart route, which is going to be your RB, R1 button in your wide receiver hot routes menu. And you'll notice that it changes from this elongated route to this shorter route, which is much glitchier and gets open way better against man coverage. So all I really got to do, cancel my play action a little bit quicker so my running back can block for me. And then you can see how this guy out here really gets right over the top of the cover corner, although he kind of slowed down to catch that ball. You can see how the cornerback just stops, which is something that is not really going to work out for your opponent. Like I said, he just stops and waits to get beat. Next up, we're in the New Orleans Saints once again, and this time we're in the gun stack. Y flex. The play itself is going to be the Z spot, and this particular play can only be found in two different playbooks, the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is another play that's good against any man coverage. We're going to start off with man zero blitz again. On this particular play, this cornerback allows an inside release for the Y route because it's almost like it's programmed into the game that it knows it's going to eventually break outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this program against it. You can see here when the play ends, the cornerback was really trying to undercut the receiver on an outside throw. So since it's programmed to work that way, we're just going to throw the ball early and basically bullet and pass lead up the field so we can beat it before he breaks outside. It's really that simple. I'm just basically going to throw the ball, bullet, pass lead inside so it can't break outside. And you can see how you can get open for a very quick strike play or you can get open for an even bigger play if you get a little bit of separation you can get a catch and run one play touchdown because there is no safety over the top. Can also have very similar success against cover one hole and even cover two man at the end of the day because they all react the same way. But when it comes to these defenses, there is a safety over the top, so it's a little bit harder to get a one play touchdown. But if you make this one guy miss, you can easily be going for a catch and a one, one play touchdown against just about any single man coverage in the game. Next up, we're in the Dolphins and we're going to be using a play out of the single back bunch. The play itself is the Sluggo Seam. And this play can be found in six different playbooks, including my 49ers offensive playbook, the Colts, the Dolphins, the Eagles, the Jets, and the Texans. This play is specifically a cover one play only as it's an option route and it will only react this way against cover one. Now the sluggo route on the left side of the field with the single wide receiver is actually a pretty good man coverage beater play, but it's kind of 50-50. It really depends on whether or not the cornerback bites on the inside route. It's not something that's going to be as uh, consistent as the other route that I'm going to show you, but it's something that you can definitely use and it's way more common in other playbooks. So you can probably find a sluggo route in any number of formations in any number of plays but you really have to wait to see this guy here react on the inside move and then basically wait for him to get outside bullet and pass lead or even lob and pass lead for a big play the much more consistent play is on the other side with the a route all you really have to do to get this a route open 
is run to play. It doesn't really take any adjustments. It will run perfectly just as is. A lot of times I like to streak the RB route next to it so I can basically pull the safety away. But at the end of the day, it's just something to do with how this jam function just fails. And you can see you can get some really big plays open outside of the numbers. Now, sometimes the safety can be a bigger issue than the actual uh, cornerback that's in coverage. So if you want to motion across the B route, which really isn't being used, and put him on a streak, a lot of times this will hold that safety over there on the other side of the field a lot longer and make it a lot easier to beat this cornerback over the top for a much easier one play touchdown. Next up, we're going to move over to the Packers and out of the single back bunch, we have a play that can really only be found in four different playbooks. The play is called the Z option and it's found in the Broncos, Falcons, Packers and Titans. This is another play that's going to work best against cover one hole. This play used to be all about this route here, this stop and go route. You used to be able to smart route this the same way. It would shorten the route and it would be a very consistent play against cover one man. It would basically shorten it and then whatever cornerback you're running against would bite on this. I guess EA patched that because it doesn't work anymore. You can see here now nobody bites on it and it's just cover the entire way down the field. It's not a big deal though because there's actually a much better route on the other side. Once again, in the bunch, all we're going to do to get this route open here is is put the A route on a curl, which is something that really makes this entire play happen. It has nothing really to do with the B route. It has nothing to do with the option route. It's more about the curl route. You're going to see when they come out of their break on this particular play, the B route goes around the curl route, getting in the way of the defender and really just bumping them off to get some very easy separation down the field for a very easy one play touchdown. You can see on the replay here once again, the cornerback can't get around the bodies and that's really what creates this separation. So it's really the curl and not necessarily this option option route but the combination is really what makes this play successful and it's very consistent as you'll see here on the next play he didn't even go around him that time and he still got the exact same separation for a very easy one play touchdown they bombed up immediately and then last but not least we have another play out of the green bay packers this play is out of the gun wide trips week and the play is called the pay out this play is only found in the green bay packers playbook this is another cover one man play this play here, if you run it as is, it really doesn't have any success at all. You can see how the X route really doesn't get separation or have any success. It gets blanketed pretty easily. If you smart route the X route though, and block the running back, maybe streak the tight end, take care of that safety, you'll notice that the X route does a much better job of getting open as long as you throw in the break there one more time. You can see the cornerback bites much harder on a smart routed version than the regular version. I'm going to start off with some glitch routes from my latest ebook, The Buffalo Bills. This has some of the rarest and glitchiest routes in the game as the first several routes I will show are all from this playbook. The first play is from a rare formation called the Gun Y Off X Close that was first added to Madden last year and is only found in the Bills and Giants playbook. The play itself is called the Mesh Y Out and the route we're going to be focusing on is the wheel route. There are a lot of different wheel routes in Madden. This formation alone has several different kinds. And you even have a wheel route adjustment in your hot route menu available on every play. But none of them do what this wheel route does to man coverage. To show you an example, I will first choose the scat play from the same formation. Then I will choose the overstorm brave from the nickel 2-4. I'm choosing this particular defense because it's one of the meta defenses in the game. But also because this formation only has safeties and quarterbacks in coverage. And I want to show that this route can beat the best man defenders on the field. But it will work even easier if your running back is manned up with a slower linebacker in coverage. On this play, the running back will be covered by a safety. And you will see that the route doesn't get open unless I were to try to come back to the ball and make a contested catch. Even if I bring the safety down to the line of scrimmage pre-snap, which you might think would make it easier to beat him deep, he is still in the perfect position to make a play on the ball and knock it away. That's because the route allows the safety more time to turn around since he doesn't have to turn and run right away, which defenders don't do very well in Madden 23. Regular wheel routes from your hot route adjustments are an improvement since they are shorter, but they are still hit or miss and really only work if you have a speed advantage and can switch on and out sprint the defender once the ball is in the air. Now watch what happens when I choose the mesh Y out play. This may look like a wheel route, but if I audible to a wheel route from my hot routes menu, you will notice that it changes ever so slightly as it now takes a harder cut up field. We saw in the wheel route from the scat play that the computer covers routes with less dramatic cuts better as it takes its time to rotate and turn over a longer distance, which is probably why the computer has a hard time covering this particular route. If I go to the replay, you'll notice that the safety rack is very different as he shoots down almost like he is expecting the running back to run a different or shorter route. This program reaction is why this route works the way that it does, because the running back is already in a full sprint and the safety has lost all acceleration once he has to turn and try to run with the receiver. You can see the second he turns around, he is already behind. 
Even if I change to a different defense like cover one man where the man in coverage starts to play closer to him pre-snap, you will notice that he still reacts the same way, by closing the distance only to lose position once he has to turn around. Against man cover one, just make sure to streak the tight end to pull the safety back deep. And since running backs can't be pressed, this play will work against either off man coverage or man press and have the same success. This next play is the last play I'm going to show from the Bills and Giants playbook and it might be the best one as it beats both man and zone. The formation is the pistol open flex close and the play is the infamous RPO reflat wheel which has been banned from being used in EA sponsored Madden tournaments recently as this has a very well known glitch route in it that works against any man or zone. I already put out a full gameplay using this play as well as some run plays, so if you didn't see that, I'll have a link in the description, but I've also put out a full breakdown of this offense on my second channel, which I will have a link in the description for as well, as it is definitely one of my favorite offensive schemes to use in this playbook. I just started this channel, and I'm only about 200 subs away from being able to monetize it, so if you guys could help me out and take a second to sub there, I'd really appreciate the support. The route on this play that I'm going to focus on is the motion route. So once again, make sure to have your best and fastest receiver in that spot. This route really gets open against any man or zone. You just have to watch for when he gets open. Against zone coverages like cover three and cover four, you typically have to throw the ball right away and just bullet and pass lead either down or away from the defenders. But against man coverage, you just have to watch the cornerback trailing in coverage. If he follows all the way across, you can still throw it to him as the trailing quarterback is typically behind when following across. But to make this play even better sometimes the quarterback stops following halfway across the field altogether leaving this receiver completely wide open and uncovered the first play is out of the raiders gun y off trips and the play is called the pa fork this play can also be found in the patriots playbook which is closely modeled after the raiders since they hired the patriots offensive coordinator and josh mcdaniels before we call the play you're going to want to substitute your fastest or your best route running receiver at the x or square route whether you're on xbox or playstation as this is going to be the home run route on the play against cover zero or man zero blitz you don't have to make any adjustments at all especially with a good receiver in this spot like Devonte adams all you have to do is watch for the cornerback to react to the out route portion of this double move and once the receiver turns up the field you can see the instant space that it creates at this point you can either bullet or lob pass as this route gets so much separation it doesn't even matter now that was cover zero which is very popular but it also works a little differently against cover one man this route doesn't get the same type of separation against cover one man, but it can still be a very explosive play as long as you can read the single high safety and put the X route on a smart route, which is the RB or the R1 button on the hot route menu. This will shorten the route and give your receiver more separation against this coverage. You can also streak the tight end so that the single high safety doesn't come over to help out against this route. So to recap, against cover zero, it needs no adjustments, but against cover one, you have to put them on a smart route at the very least for this route to work. The next route can be found in my Raiders offensive ebook once again and the formation is called the single back tight way off the play itself is the pa pump go and this play can score one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses in a lot of different ways but i'm going to focus on the route that the b or circle route is running once again so make sure you have your fastest or best route running receiver in that spot this play can also be found in the chiefs jaguars and patriots along with the raiders this play can also work against cover one man, but I find it's most consistent against cover zero or man zero blitz once again, which is one of the most popular defenses in the game anyway. This route alone doesn't beat anything, but if you once again put him on a smart route, it will shorten the route and get a much different reaction from the cornerback. You will need extra blocking on this play against man zero blitz, so make sure you block the running back and not the tight end, as blocking the tight end will result in the receiver getting double teamed, which is something you obviously don't want. You can run this route from this position with some success, but if you motion him out, you will get a more dramatic reaction action as the cornerback drops back pre-snap giving the receiver much more space underneath and making the cornerback bite even harder on the double move. Obviously motioning this receiver out will eventually give away what you're about to do if you beat your opponent more than once with this play so I would suggest making motions like this all game from this offense so that they don't pick up on it easily. The next play is also from the Raiders and the formation is the gun tight slots. The play itself is the corner and goes and this is easily one of the best man zero plays in the game. This play can also be found in the Dolphins, Patriots, and Seahawks, and there is a variation of this play that can be found in the Gun Deuce Close from my Ravens ebook that I also use a lot in my gameplays. That play can be found in the Chiefs and Texans as well, and they will all work the same. Once again, make sure that your best or fastest receiver is at the X or square route in your substitutions. The route that I'm going to highlight on this play looks pretty similar to the route from the last play. The only difference is that this route actually beats cover one and cover zero much more consistently than the last play. But the real reason I'm showing this play is because there are several routes on this play that qualify for this video title 
as it really is one of the best man beating plays in the game. So if you feel this route is too close to the last route, let's start by focusing on what the tight end is running as every route in this play easily beats man coverage, making this play a nightmare for people that run man all game. But the real MVP is once again the X or the square route. And even though it looks like you have the same route on both sides of the field, they are actually different. You can only really tell once you try to smart route the B route. And you will notice it doesn't really change much at all compared to what happens when you smart route the X route. Then you will notice a much more dramatic difference that comes in handy against cover one man. Against cover one man, all you have to do is smart route this receiver. You don't have to motion him out this time. And he will easily beat any cover one man corner with much more consistency as the wide receiver already has inside leverage from the formation alignment. So I would suggest streaking the B route to pull away the safety once again, and this will be a very large play, often resulting in a very quick one-play touchdown. This play can also have success against cover zero if you motion him out once again, which will result in the cornerback dropping back and away from the wide receiver pre-snap. If you smart route the receiver, it will shorten the route once again, forcing the cornerback to make a much more dramatic reaction to the out route and ultimately giving up a much bigger play over the top. The next play I'm going to show you today is from another one of my latest ebooks and that is the Baltimore Ravens which is one of my favorite playbooks in the game and is really one of the most fun playbooks to use in Madden 23. This play is out of the normal Y off close and the play is called the escape. I'm going to focus on the running back in this play but I recently put out a full breakdown of this play as well as a gameplay video of me using this as it is also a one play touchdown against any defense in the game. So if you guys want to see that video I have a full link in the description as well as a pop up on the end of the video. The route the running back is running looks like some sort of variation of a China route and it gets open against any defense at several points throughout the route. Against zone, you can throw it as soon as he turns up the field, kind of like you would a wheel route, and he will get open before your opponent even knows what happened. Against man, you can throw it when he turns back to the quarterback, kind of like a hook route, or you can wait until he runs the full route and turns outside, kind of like a zig route, making this one of the best routes in the game for an easy, always open checkdown. The last play I'm going to show you is from my New Orleans Saints offense, and the formation is the gun stack Y flex, which is easily one of the best man beating formations in the game. I've put out a lot of content from this formation and I will once again have links in the description for all of them but if you already are running this offense I'm going to add another play to it and that play is called the curl combo. This play can only be found in the Saints and the Buccaneers playbook. Once again just have your fastest receiver here at the X route in the substitution menu. The glitch route on this play is the curl route the wire triangle route is running but that's not the route that I'm going to throw to. To make this play work all you have to do is put the X route on fade and watch for the curl route to get in the way of the man defender covering X. If it gets in the way the defender it's an easy lob pass away from being a one play touchdown just make sure that the running back is blocking if they're in man blitz this play works against any man defense though if the defense is in a press coverage as the receiver in front will get pressed often by the cornerback who is supposed to be covering the other guy so while he is stuck in a press animation the x receiver will run right down the field for an instant and easy one play touchdown the last play is from the gun tight slots halfback weak formation and the play is called the four verticals this is a play that i put out last year early man 22 that scored against every defense in the game and was instantly patched after I put it out, which is probably a good thing since it might be the most broken play I can ever remember putting out. It doesn't beat any of those defenses anymore, but it does have a super glitchy reaction to man zero press defenses. Now I'm using the Vikings as is in their playbook, but this play can also be found in the Bengals, Colts, Eagles, Panthers, and Rams. On defense, I'm going to once again be showing this against the meta Overstorm Brave, but it will work against any man zero in press coverage. On this play, I'm once going to be focusing on the option route, so make sure that you have your fastest wide receiver in this spot. On the first play, I'm going to be using Justin Jefferson but I will show with several other receivers as well. For this to work your opponent has to be in a man zero and pressing is secondary which is a very popular setup for a lot of man zero defenses. If they are not pressed the option route can still get open as it will typically get inside leverage and run the space away from the corner but this is a much bigger play if your defense is in a press. If I put the defense into a press you will notice that the cornerback will completely whiff on the jam every time letting the receiver instantly get open right down the center of the field by a wide margin. All you have to do is lob it up before the pressure gets home and you will have a very big play that can turn to an instant one play touchdown from anywhere on the field as long as you get a good rack catch and can run away from the trailing defenders. You will not always get an inside release like this. Sometimes it will be an outside release but it will always get a dominant release animation that will leave the defender struggling to recover to catch up which is the most important thing. Once again, if you need an extra blocker, make sure to block the tight end and not the running back as it will change the coverage assignments resulting in the receiver being double teamed. If I flip this play, you can see this play will work with Adam Thielen the exact same way, 
but both of these receivers are superstar players so i went ahead and i put in one of the worst receivers in the entire league in jalen rager and you will see that it doesn't matter what the receivers ratings are as you will get the exact same reaction with the cornerback getting beat every time meaning once again this reaction is programmed into the route and has nothing to do with the receivers or the cornerbacks so that's that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this please be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that i'll have some videos popping up on screen with some supporting material like the original glitz routes video and the full gun stack wide flex offense so if you guys want to check that out i'm sure it will help your game and that's it thanks for watching man i should out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early 